clients just got in. Uh, we just loaded up all the pack horses, getting hunters on onto their horses as well, and then we're gonna head up to the cabin, have a dinner, and make a plan for tomorrow. Should be out after after some moose tomorrow morning. Oh. <laughs> You want to take a picture of that, dude? Just uh, getting a couple shoes tacked back on, uh, a couple pack horses and a couple riding horses. We just got a new set of hunters in this afternoon and Dan and Owen are making some lunch and Joel and I are getting some horses reset, get some shoes tacked back on, get ready to go hunting in the morning. Second hunt of the year, 2022. We're all saddled up. It's the first uh, first morning, of the hunt for these guys. We're gonna go for a little bit of a ride and find us a glassing spot. Hang out for the day. See if we can find a bunch of moose and just see what they're doing. Um, Quentin and Joel are gonna head up on the mountain above us and just kind of watch. If we can't find any moose today, then more than likely we're going to pack up for tomorrow and head over to Caribou Camp. Should be a good day all around. It's going to be sunny and warm. Can't complain. I think we're gonna start packing up. Um, got a bit of a ride back to camp and don't wanna get caught out in the dark too much with these boys. Little inexperience on the horses. 
Um, so yeah, didn't find our moose, but it's just the first day. We got time. Got a little sunburn instead. veggies, a little southern style for our Louisiana hunters. Hopefully they pass. Dish style, a little bit more sauce, a little bit more spice. Everybody likes a little hot sauce. Can't tell Dan what's in there. Uh, this is good, this is plenty. We are loading up, we're going to switch gears and head to the caribou camp hunt for a couple of days over there and probably just do some moose over there too if, if we can so yeah big day we've got to take all the horses so lots of lots of packing and uh, get ready to go camp for probably the next five, six, seven days. Everything went good. We can unload the horses, oh, get some supper going, and yeah, start glassing for caribou. Unreal, Quentin. We're all loaded up. I jump on the horses, head to the glass and knob, looking for moose and possibly a caribou if one comes out. <laughs> Shots. Um, and then got an in reach from Dan. Sounds like, sounds like they got a caribou, so that's pretty sweet. We'll have caribou meat in camp. It's been a pretty slow day. Just one smaller bull and a cow. Um, but we didn't get rained on, so that was nice. It's just not. Moose just aren't quite moving around yet like we're hoping. Um, but it's gonna happen here one of these days. We'll just gotta keep looking. We'll find them.
Corey's feeling a little under the weather. Um, so kind of just having a bit of a camp day. I think it'll be great. Got our brekkie, coffee. We're loaded up. Quentin got the horses. We're gonna head up on the glass and knob. Spend the day up there looking for caribou. Yeah, we got a bit of snow this morning, so it'll be pretty easy to spot them. Should be a good day. We got ourselves a plan. Spotted across the valley. We're gonna jump on the horses and see if we can't cut them off. Kind of moving with two cows. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch up to them. There's a herd, probably 50, 60 caribou, probably 10 small bulls. Um, I was overlooking at this herd and Logan spotted the two cows and the one good bull kind of coming across. So we're gonna cruise out, cut them off, and um, hope we get a shot at them. I appreciate your help too, man. Y'all been helping me this whole freaking time. That thing is, it's, that's a nice fall. Dude, I'm telling you, I wouldn't have made this without y'all. You mask off. Well, no, leave it up. Thank you. 
Mr. Holy Kamoli. Dude, that's beautiful. Jeez, oh. That is a big animal. I did not realize caribou were that big. Holy crap. These kind of paw, are they all palmated like that or usually round? Kind of flatter? Well, usually this is a he's very, <sighs> very unique. Man. Look at that fez, eh? I wasn't expecting something that nice. Holy crap. That is beautiful. He's actually not quite as long in the veins as I thought he was, but. Got some stuff on him now. He's wide, he's heavy. He's beautiful, I'm happy. And old, that's the key. You want to get an old mature one. That's what you were looking for. Wow. finished up here with uh, Corey's Caribou. Jolie and Quentin brought a couple back horses. Um, yeah, made pretty quick work of it. Uh, well, at the moment, I'm just unsaddling these horses. Uh, so what's happened, we went and wrangled them this morning. And there was four missing. And there's still four missing, and now it's uh, almost three o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, we've got a few guys out on horseback looking for them. We've got uh, Dan's up on the, on the glassing knob looking for them. Um, where they are, we've got no idea. So I'm unsaddling, we'll spend another night here. At, um, at Overton, and hopefully they show up and we're able to get back to Josephine tomorrow. Oh, we finally found the horses. Spent the whole day looking for them. I think it's six, 5.36 now. Kind of threw a little bit of a wrench in the day, but we'll ride tomorrow if they don't run away again. Just uh, saddling the last two horses. Joel had to go out by himself down by the beaver pond, uh, kind of up from the river to find the last couple. Uh, him and I went and wrangled from a new pasture that we found over here at the caribou camp, uh, me and Owen. Had to go look for four horses yesterday for a while, and Dan, and Joel, and we found them just down on across the lake here from camp, down by the river. So we took everything down there last night. Got a new pasture kind of lined up for the second half of the season, and uh, yeah, this morning we went down, and found 12, and then there was two up here just around camp. Saddle horse that I ride, and saddle horse Joel rides, and then the last two were off the ways. So. Get them saddled up, get packed, and head back, hunt some moose.
they're all around us, but they don't come to our camp. I think we're a little marshy for them. <laughs> we just switched camps. Um, Switch gears. Five hour. Ready to Five go. hour ride. Look for some moose. You're wrecking it. That's right. We're uh, switched to a moose camp. Frodo. We're gonna finish off next two three days chasing moose and uh I may not be able to yeah. carry the ring Should Frodo Hopefully but can. I can carry you all right we're loaded up head down into the patch hope we find ourselves a moose today we're gonna glass probably till about noon if it's super slow. There's a lake down there. We're gonna probably do a little fishing. Get back on the glassing knob for the afternoon. But yeah, either way, it's it's gonna be a pretty good day. Started off on a good glassing knob. Um, spent the day, or most of the day, I think till about three, looking for moose. Um, just seen one cow. Starting to get pretty crappy and windy. Um, we had a little lake close by, so we jumped off the knob, come down, did a bunch of fishing. Corey caught a bunch of grayling and one real nice uh, Dolly Varden. Um, we're gonna head back to camp now, fry up a bunch of fish, all around, pretty solid day. So yeah, we, we ended up, uh, hunting till about noon, um, just really crappy, rainy weather. Everything was fogged in. Um, last day of the hunt today, so we're getting all the guys' gear together, and hopefully the plane will get in tomorrow. But we'll see, fog's got a lift, and hopefully they get out. Mm -hmm. 